A mommy makeover is a procedure for women that have had all their kids. And it usually is a procedure that includes their breasts and usually a tummy tuck. Uh, with the breasts, it could be breast augmentation, it could be a breast augmentation with a lift, and in rare occasions, it could actually be a breast reduction. The abdomen usually is a full tummy tuck because having children really stretches out the abdomen, the abdominal wall, the musculature, the skin, and therefore women want to achieve a tight, flat appearance of their abdomen, and they like to have the fullness of the breast back just like it was prior to having kids. So that's why the mommy makeover term is making them back to what they were prior to having kids. A woman's changes after having uh, children are both psychological and physical. The physical aspect is the laxity of skin, both on their breasts from the engorgement of their breasts and the expanding the skin. Um, the skin sometimes rebounds back tightly and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes having a second kid will stretch it out further and a third kid even further. And as that happens, women often lose the breast volume as well. So they have stretched out skin, they've lost volume, and the breast begins to sag and change shape completely. The abdomen having kids stretches out the ab abdominal wall. It again stretches out the skin as well. And therefore you could have a variety of stretch marks along the breasts, along the, uh, along the abdomen. And therefore um, one is trying to reduce the amount of skin that has been stretched, tighten things up, and restore the volume especially in the breast that has been lost. The mommy makeover can be accomplished by one surgical procedure or a few. Most commonly, women tend to have them done at the same time because it's one recovery, there's one time off work, there's one time away from their kids, and therefore it seems to fit into their life uh, quite well because the tummy tuck is a fairly long recovery. Uh, uh, for a person. The abdomen is tight, flat, the intra-abdominal area is tightened, therefore walking is difficult for a while as well as the person could be hunched over. So it may take a woman one to two weeks to even straighten up completely, uh, starting to drive in a few weeks and really not back to full scale what you used to do running around in stores, out of stores for usually four to even as, as long as six weeks in some rare occasions. Exercise usually can start in about six weeks but it is uh, one of the more difficult recoveries and obviously the more you have done, the longer the recovery. So if a breast surgery is done, abdominal surgery is done, liposuction is done as well, it's a fairly significant length of recovery. Women are definitely concerned about scarring when it comes to cosmetic surgery as well as cosmetic surgeons. The mommy makeover are significant amount of scarring. Uh, the abdominal plastic scar goes from hip to hip and therefore one has to make a decision if this is a good trade-off. And some women it is and some it is not. A woman that has had a C-section, they already have a scar and therefore having an extended scar from that isn't as significant than a person that doesn't have a scar at all. So it depends on each patient whether or not the scar is appropriate or not. But in general, it definitely is a significant scar. The breasts, on the other hand, the scars are smaller, especially if one just needs a breast augmentation. There's short scar breast lifts as well. But there is scarring, and we go over in great detail what is required 
to accomplish a patient's goals with the least amount of scarring. Women that undergo mommy makeover are extremely happy. They are one of the most happiest cosmetic surgery patients that we see. They look better in clothes. They feel better independent of clothes. They uh, look at themselves and they're able to go back in time and see how they used to look. So the sense of confidence, the sense of well-being is restored to a certain extent. The Marin Cosmetic Surgery Center is a center that I developed in early 2000 as a result of being unhappy with the inconsistency and quality of care in the hospital settings. Often when I would go to the hospital, I get new nurses each time or anesthesiologists each time, and therefore I felt that the care and the personalized assistant wasn't consistent uh, enough for my style of practice. In the center uh, that we have developed, it's very high quality. I have my own team that I work with exclusively. They know exactly how I do things, how I like to do things, and their emphasis on, is on high patient quality care. And therefore, I'm very, very comfortable in bringing my patients there and knowing that they'll get the best care that a person can find anywhere. Mm -hmm.